Warm welcome, this is Markus Termin, Astrologisches Stundenbuch at the 22nd of May 2024. The moon is in the sign of Scorpio and the sun is in the sign of Gemini. Um, just the same situation as yesterday, but today we do have two interesting most exact aspects, which is the trine of Moon as I'm speaking towards Saturn. This is one of the exact aspects and the other one is the trine of the Sun to Pluto. This is a connection in between air signs. Pluto is in the air sign of Aquarius. The Sun is in the air sign of Gemini. Now, of course, the whole situation is structured um, by the intensity of um, the tension of the upcoming full moon. This is going to be most important. Full moon is going to be tomorrow, uh, but it's not happening yet. And it's a pre-full moon constellation. The trine in between moon and Saturn gives the possibility of consolidation of your own feelings in the sense of how are we going to give them um, structured riverbed, for instance. How, how, how am I going to put my feelings that my soul um, doesn't lack clarity? First of all, clarity, soul and clarity is a theme of Saturn in the sign of Pisces. This is the one thing. And the other thing is that I also do approach with my feelings, not with my thinking, because water is all about feelings, the, the seriousness and the depths that are required these days and probably necessary to separate the good from the bad, the good from the evil. And um, at the same time, the thoughts, the thinking, the intellectual ways are deeply influenced by the trine in between Sun and Pluto in the sign of Aquarius. The Sun provides new information, um, clarity, clearness, you know, in the sign of Gemini. Gemini is all about information, is all about knowledge and Pluto in the sign of Aquarius is transformation under the shield of liberty. So this is, if you do a combination of that, there's a good amount of clearness and thinking and um, those, those um, activities to be done by this trine, influenced and, and hyped by this trine. And on the other hand, it's possibility to get a new inner structure, to, to get rid of, um, for instance, to get rid of uh, feelings of uh, personal hostility and um, uh, to get rid of uh, feelings of personal um, enemyship and things like that. This is very well possible in preparation towards the full moon which will provide us again with some very different energy coming up tomorrow. But that is for tomorrow. It's going to be a very important full moon. The reason is we are going to have a big number of aspects to be exact at the same time. Of course, one of them is the tighter and tighter upcoming aspect in between uh, Jupiter and Venus at the end of Taurus. And this is going to be very important tomorrow, but I'm going to speak about that tomorrow because still today we do have the Scorpio moon influence. And as you can see, Scorpio moon is in opposition to all the Taurus planets. So it's not so clear that uh, the livelihood and the, the, the wealth that um, Taurus might provide um, is without struggle to reach, without struggle to go deep with the Scorpio moon at the same time. So 
Uh, speaking it in one sentence, it's a day of emotional consolidation and setup of new revolutionary thinking. Pre full moon energy. Hope to see you tomorrow. This is Markus Termin at the 22nd of May 2024. In case you want to get in contact, just use the mail address up there. Mind the DE because I'm a German astrologer. And down here at my blog site, you'll find the conditions for a consultation. Zoom is always possible. I will send you a link. Happy if you want to get in contact.